from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Toe. And now, here's our host, Jim Caldwell. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Nice to have you with us today. What a great audience. Hey, terrific. Thank you very much. You know, at the end of our last show, we crowned a new champion. He hasn't had an opportunity to play, the game, play against the Dragon, and he's going to do it right now. Charlie, who is he? A Jim our current champion is a student who writes for the school newspaper. His interests include travel and trivia, his winnings in cash. Total $900. Meet Don Rosen. Don, stand right over here. You will. See that little mark there? Turn around this way and face the camera there. Hello. How you feeling? Fine, thanks. Well, now, of course, at the end of our last show, you picked up some money, mm -hmm. but you didn't have a chance to play the dragon. Nope, going to do that now. You're going to play up against him right now. By the way, you've got a little pin on your lapel. What's that stand for? That's for my fraternity, Sigma Alpha Mu. Really? Yeah. Anybody in the audience here from your fraternity? I've got three fraternity brothers right there, as well as a friend from high school. Why don't you introduce them for us? Uh, on the right there is Dave, another Dave, and then there's a Sean and a Scott. A couple of Dave's, a Sean, and a Scott, and of course, I guess they're going to be helping you. Oh, yeah. See if you can beat the dragon. Oh, yeah. Ready to go? Oh, definitely. All right. Well, you know that behind these numbers are various amounts of money, a tick, attack, and uh, the good old dragon. Yeah. You want to reach $1,000 or more or get a tick and attack, and Charlie's going to tell you what you'll win. Charlie? Well, now, these gifts are designed to help you enjoy your spare time to its fullest. First off, with some time free, you can watch your favorite shows on this brilliant color TV. Hitachi's 13-inch Quick Start Color TV, 100% solid-state video system, random access electronic tuning, signal tracker system, and prime Private listening earphone from Hitachi. Then take some time to star in your own show when you appear in your own music video. Be a star at Closet Stars of Studio City, California. Sing under the bright lights on the stage of a recording studio and take home a video cassette featuring you singing selections from their library of over 700 songs. Next, with a few extra hours, you can work on your tan at home with this great tanning unit. Sun Tanner Sun System Sunmate SB9. A European-style tanning system for the home. You may enjoy the luxury and beauty of a healthy-looking tan furnished by Sun Tanner Sun Systems. And finally, Don, to help increase your spare time, here's a gift worth more than $1,000 that alleviates your wash day chores, this automatic washer and dryer. Exclusive Spacemates Laundry Pair, full-size stackable washer and dryer installed in 27 inches. Front-loading washer uses less water, detergent, and bleach than top loaders. Electric or gas dryer available from White Westinghouse. This spare time package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,500. How's that sound? <laughs> I, I saw you really light up when, you when we talked about the tan. You ready to go uh, out and get yourself a tan inside your house? My nickname used to be Casper, so I'm uh, definitely looking for a tan here. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> all right, let's get into the game. Let's see what's going to happen here. You know that you want to get a tick and attack. You'll get $1,000 automatically. Mm -hmm. The dragon, of course, has just hidden himself away, and it's time for you to go for your selection. Come on, friends. Give him some help. <laughs> Where are you going to go first? Nine. Got to no, go with nine. Number nine, he says. Okay, let's see what's there. 150. Okay. All right, that's a good start. What's next, Don? We're going, we're going five. They're all saying five. five. Five it is. Okay, let's see what's behind five. Four hundred. You're off to a good start. Five fifty we're up to. All the way up. Number one. Number one. Big new Morocco. Two fifty. Okay. Slowly but surely, you're up to eight hundred dollars. Okay. I'm doing this on my own. Number four. Number four. He's going to do it on his own. Let's see what's behind four. Don can believe it. He's sitting here with a big grin on his face. You just picked up a lot of nice prizes. Tanning system, washer and dryer, a recording gift, certificates, and everything. Let's see where the dragon was, by the way. Where was he hiding? Behind number six. Okay, you're standing. You're looking at right now. Don, you ready for this? $4,500 is yours. And we're going to take a break and come right back right after this. We'll talk about who your next opponent is. Well, we just got off to a fast start. Don Rosen just beat the dragon and picked up a lot of nice prizes. He's now looking at $4,500. And it's time to meet your opponent, Don. Charlie O'Donnell, who is she? Jim, she's a college sophomore whose interests include French and tennis. Meet Holly Ladd. Nice to have you on the show. Where are you going to school? I'm presently attending Smith College, but next year I'll be spending the year in Paris. 
in Paris. Yeah. What are you going to be studying there? Well, I intend to study a lot of art history, as uh, learning it there would be great, seeing as you're surrounded by some of the best art in the world. But I'll have some fun, too. I suspect you will. What will you be finding yourself doing? I heard Charlie say you like to play tennis. Oh, I love playing tennis. I'm on the Smith team right now, and I'm a very competitive player, so this should be a good game. What? Uh, well, let me ask you, where are you on the ladder? Are you number one or two? Or uh, number five. Well, good for you. We wish you a lot of luck in your tennis uh, you. in college. And uh, this, of course, is a very competitive game, and let's get started. Let's check out the nine categories Don and Holly will be playing with today. They are Famous Blondes, It's a Dilemma, Aquatic Biology, Fashions, Football, Number Please, Maps of States, Auction, and Action Films. Those are the categories. Of course, the red ones mean that those are special categories, and I'll explain them as we get to them. Don, you're the champion. Go ahead and get us rolling here. I'll go with Maps of States in the lower left. Maps of States, it shall be, Don. Take a look at this map. Now, this state is the site of the Oak Ridge Atomic Energy Center, one of the nation's most important research laboratories. Name the state. Tennessee. Tennessee is right. <laughs> Down there in the south, Don, we'll put an X on the board for you in the bottom left-hand corner. 200 bucks in the pot. Let's shuffle them up. Holly, where are you going to go? I'll take Famous Blondes. Okay, listen carefully, Holly. This five-foot-tall blonde came to Hollywood determined to be an actor, but didn't have much success. He turned to writing music and hits like We've Only Just Begun and Evergreen, and those made him a star. Name him. Williams. Paul Williams is right, Holly. Good for you. Now the row goes on the board. In fact, the first O of the game for you, 400 bucks in the pot. We're going to shuffle everything around. Don, where are you going to do this time? I'll go with Maps of States again. Okay, you like that category, huh? We'll take a look at this map. Oh, it's a center box question. Let me walk over here and make sure I've got the right card for you, Don. Now, the capital city of this particular state was the site of the second battle in the American Revolution. Number one, you must name the state and name the capital city. And you have some extra time, Don. Think that over. Don, the capital city of this particular state was the site of the second battle in the American Revolution. Number one, name the state. New Hampshire. That's right. Part two, name the capital city. Concord. Concord is right. You have the box. And that's worth $300. Way to go, Don. So we're up to 700 bucks in the pot. We're going to shuffle those categories around. And Holly, it's your turn. I'll have to take fashions to block. Yes, indeed, you do. Holly, this type of ornate fabric is woven into intricate designs and is often used to decorate formal gowns like wedding dresses. Its name comes from a Latin word for noose. For the block, name this type of fabric. Lace. Lace is right. Good for you, Holly. All right. We're now going to go up to $900 in the pot with a special O in the top right corner for a block. Let's shuffle them up. And Don, we're back to you. Your turn. I'll take auction for the win, please. Uh, no, I won't take, I'll take auction. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. we have to go with your first choice, Don. And, of course, the auction category involves both of you. You both will bid on how many correct answers you can give to this question. And remember, the high bidder gets control. Don, you're going for a block. Holly, if you get this box, you'll become our new champion. Now, from the peak of Lookout Mountain in Tennessee, seven different states can be seen on a clear day. Tennessee is one of those states. How many of the remaining six can you name? Don, you've selected the category. The bidding starts with you. Two. He's bidding that... two, Holly. Can you top that? Three. All right, she says three, Don. Do you want to go for four? Yeah, I'll take four. He's going to try for four, Holly. Five. She says five, Don. What do you think? There's only six in the list. Do you want to go off for all six? I'll let her have five. All right, Holly. In order for you to win the game, you're going to have to make your bid of five. Now, remember what we're looking for here. The five states other than Tennessee that can be seen from Lookout Mountain in Tennessee. You must make your bid of five. You're going for the game. Go. Georgia. Georgia's one. Alabama. Alabama's another one. Kentucky. Kentucky's right. There are just two left. Virginia. Virginia's on the list. Give me one more and you'll pick up. $1,100. West Virginia. No. Don, there are two others on this list. Give me one of them and you'll have a block. Arkansas. 
No, Don. Ooh, the box goes unclaimed. North Carolina and South Carolina were the other two states, seen from the top of Lookout Mountain in Tennessee. So, like I said, the box remains unclaimed. Let's go ahead and shuffle. $900 in the pot. Holly, back to you. Fashions to win. Holly, if you can give me the correct answer to this question, you'll win your first game of tic-tac-toe. Now, in Japan, this article of clothing is worn by both men and women. It is a loose-fitting robe with wide sleeves and is fastened at the waist with a wide sash. To become our new champion, name this traditional Japanese garment. Serapi. <laughs> no. Kimono. Kimono. Right. Can't give you the right. box. Let's go ahead and take That's a look right. where we are right now. $900 in the pot. Let's take a break. We'll come right back right after this. Jim, back to you. Thanks, Charlie. We're in the middle of a very interesting game. Just a few moments ago, Don dodged a bullet. And we're going to go ahead and shuffle the categories with 900 bucks in the pot. Don? I'll go with auction for the block. Okay, we played this just a moment ago. In fact, you know how it goes. You're both going to be bidding on how many correct answers you can give to a particular question. And remember, high bidder gets control. Don, you need this for a block. However, Holly, if you get this box, you'll become our new champion. Now, Snow White had seven dwarf pals. How many can you name? Don, you've selected the category. Go ahead and start the bidding. Three. He says three, Holly. Do you five. want to top that? She's five. jumped to five. Six. He's already up to six. I can name all seven. Holly, you're going to name all seven. All right. If you do, you're going to win the game and pick up $1,100. You'll be our new champion. Okay. Doc? Okay, that's on the list. Grumpy? That's another one. Sleepy? That's correct. Dopey? Dopey's another one. You just have three to go. Happy? Happy is right. Two to go. Ooh. Sneezy? I'm sorry, that's too late, Holly. It's over to you, Don. Give me one more answer that's on this list. You'll have your block. Grumpy? No, that was already <laughs> said. It still goes unclaimed. Oh, no. Oh, tough situation. Bashful. Don, you ready for this? She gave you the answer, but she didn't take it. She oh. said sneezy after the buzzer. So. Oh, no. Interesting moment. Let's go ahead and shuffle with $900 in the pot. And Holly saved again. Number, please, for the win. What an interesting game. Another special category. It is another special category. Either of you can get the box in this situation. Listen carefully. Holly, you're going for the game. Don, get the box. You'll have a block. Now, in 1938, Congress established the first minimum hourly wage. In cents, what was that minimum hour, hourly wage? Holly, if you give cents. me the exact number, I was just going to say, if you give me the exact number, you'll win the game. What's your answer? 35 cents. 35 is not the exact number, Holly, but you still can get the box. Don. Do you think the exact number is higher or lower than 35? Remember, a right answer and you'll have a block. A wrong answer and Holly will win the game. Higher. Don, the exact number is 25. That's lower. Holly's our new champ. Way to go, Holly. What a tough game. 25 cents just earned you $1,100, Holly. Congratulations, you're the new champ, and you're going to play the bonus game in just a second to see how well you do against the dragon. Of course, Don did that just a few moments ago, and uh, he did pretty darn well. As a matter of fact, in cash and prizes, Don's going to be leaving us with $4,500. Thanks for playing Tic Tac Toe, Don. We'll be back in a moment. Don't go away. Holly Ladd just became our new champion. We crowned her, and it's time for you to get over here and play the dragon. Come on, Holly. Congratulations. Thanks. you got to be excited. Oh, I feel so great. I can't uh, believe it. 
you, I know you've got a bunch of people out here rooting for you. In a moment, of course, the dragon's going to be jumping around and, and be hiding somewhere. But before we even get to that point, let's find out what kind of prizes you're about to win if you can beat the dragon. Charlie? Well, Holly, you can put in a good word for us when you enjoy these gifts. First, Holly, you'll enter words electronically on this remarkable home computer. The Commodore 64 computer featuring 64K memory, full-size keyboard, color graphics, sprites, sound capability, music composer cartridge, and program reference guide all from Commodore. Next, you'll print out your word processing work on this top quality printer typewriter. The Brother Correctronic 50 electronic daisy wheel typewriter features full line correction memory, triple pitch typing, and can interface with a computer to serve as a letter quality printer. Then leave word as to when you'll be back on this reliable answering machine. Codafone's 2530 answering machine, remote message retrieval from any touch tone phone without a beeper, and 7410 feature phone, a complete home communications package from Codafone. And finally, Holly, you can put in a good word for us when you drop us a postcard from a fabulous vacation resort in Carefree Cancun. Mexico's newest resort, Cancun on the Caribbean, where you can enjoy beaches with crystal clear water that actually changes colors. Visit the nearby nautical museum that displays the ruins and treasures of sunken pirate ships. We'll fly you via Western Airlines wide-body jet from Los Angeles to Mexico City. You can count on Western for warm hospitality and friendly service in flight. Furnished by Western Airlines, you'll stay at the Fiesta Americana Cancun, located on the blue waters of the Caribbean. Hacienda-style hotel with cascading waterfall offers deluxe rooms and continental or traditional cuisine from Fiesta Americana Cancun. This put in a good word package is worth in cash and prizes over $3,450. That would be great. Boy, do you have a loud clap. When she saw that she was going to Cancun, if she could beat the dragon, she let out the biggest clap I've ever seen. Well, we wish you luck. Now, you know what you have to do. At all costs, avoid the dragon. Of course, get the tick and the tack. You'll get the dough automatically. So we've, we've moved him around. He's uh, going to hide. There he goes. And I know you've got a crowd out here in the audience. Kind of, kind of point him out to us. All Who's right, going to help on. you? Good numbers, guys. Who are they? Look at how many people she's got out there. Six. All right. She's already decided. Number six. Let's see what's there. Uh, 150. All right. Good start. What's next? Two. All right. She ki finally came up with number two. 250. All right, so after 400, now you can take the money. You gonna keep going? No, I'm gonna keep going. Oh, of course you're gonna keep number going. Number three. Number three. Let's see what's behind the tick. All you need is a tack or a 600, and you're going to Cancun. Number one. She's getting number lots one. of help. She decides on number one. 100. Slowly but surely, you're going up. You've got 500 to go or a tack. Getting lots number, of help. Number five. Number five. Center box. Let's see what's there. Oh, 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 Super. Congratulations. Oh, my God. She's excited. It's official, folks. Let's find out where the dragon was hiding. Where was he? There he was. Never bottom left-hand corner. Well, congratulations. You have done very well just starting off here on the show. You've picked up in grand total prizes in cash, $4,550. Time to meet your next contestant. Well, I tell you, lots of excitement. She is really a true competitor. Let's find out who is going to be competing against her right now. Charlie? Okay, Jim. He's an administrator whose interests include sports and writing me, Bradford Miller. <laughs> Bradford, welcome to the show. You go by Brad or Bradford? Brad. Okay, Brad. You're a tall man. How tall are you? 6'5". Six 6'5". Five. Six five. You look every inch of it, too. Tell us about your work. Um, I run a transitional home for developmentally disabled adults. You do? Yeah. Good for you. Tell us more about that. Um, it's a home where we try to help the men get the skills where they can um, live on their own as successfully as possible. Is it just for men or is it for men and women? For men only. Okay. And, and it sounds like a terrific program. How successful is it? Um, we have a lot of our graduates living in the community very successfully. I, I heard a figure uh, before when someone was mentioning that you were coming um, on that you have a 50% success ratio? Um, I think it's more like 30%, about, about 18, 20 gentlemen. Well, however it is, it's, it's great work, and we congratulate you for that. Give them a hand, really. That is, we appreciate that. And you know what we're going to do right now? We're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to start a brand new game. Stay where you are. 
Well, Brad, we just get to meet. We don't have time to take it much further than this right now. We're just about out of time. We wish you lots of luck next time around. And, of course, Holly over here has done very well so far. You've picked up $4,550. We'll see how you both do next time around. I'm Jim Caldwell. You take care, and I'll see you next time. Some of our departing contestants will receive Bonneen. Whether you go by car, plane, boat, or train, Bonneen provides you with safe and effective 24-hour travel sickness protection. One bite of a Chips Ahoy cookie. He's knocked out all of those chocolate chips. Chips Ahoy. Original in the blue bag, chewy in the red. Bet you bite a chip. Got an unwelcome wagon? Painted Red Devil. Introducing Blue Bonnet Spread in a big new two pound size. Everything's better with Blue Bonnet on it. Tic-Tac-Toe is a Jack Barry and Dan Enright production.